Ten years after the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act 2013 came into force, the Supreme Court of India has said there are serious lapses and uncertainty regarding its implementation. So, how did the Prevention of Sexual Harassment Act came into being? How does it define sexual harassment and the workplace? What does it require employers to do? What are the various and serious lapses flagged by the Supreme Court? What have been hurdles to the law's implementation? Let's look out in this video. Chapter 1 How was the Prevention of Sexual Harassment Act formed? In 1992, Bhavri Devi, a social worker with the Women's Development Project of Rajasthan government, was gang raped by five men after she tried to prevent the marriage of one year old girl. While hearing the pleas filed by activist groups against the crime, the Supreme Court laid down a set of guidelines in 1997 named Vishakha Guidelines to fill the gap till a law could be enacted. After this, Protection of Women Against Sexual Harassment at Workplace Bill was introduced in 2007, which was later tabled in Parliament and amended and finally the amended bill came into force on December 9, 2013 known as POSH Act or the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal. Chapter 2 What is the POSH Act? The Act defines sexual harassment to include unwelcome acts such as physical contact and sexual advances, a demand or request for such favors being conduct of sexual nature. All women employees, whether employed regularly, temporarily, contractually or daily wage basis or even employed without knowledge of the principal employer are covered under the Act. The law expands the definition of workplace beyond traditional offices to include all kinds of organizations across sectors, even non-traditional workplaces applying to all public and private sector organizations throughout India. Chapter 3 What are the requirements imposed on employers? The law requires any employer with more than 10 employees to form an internal complaints committee headed by a woman and have at least two women in the committee with one being another employee and another a third party such as an NGO worker with five years of experience in dealing with all such issues. Besides this, the Act mandates every district in the country to create a local committee to receive complaints from women working in firms with less than 10 employees and from the informal sector including all the sectors and workers. Chapter 4 What are the hurdles to Act's implementation? The Supreme Court in its recent judgment called out the gap in the Constitution of Internal Complaints Committee citing a newspaper report that 16 out of 30 national sports federations in the country had not constituted an ICC till date. The judgment also flagged the improper constitution in cases where the ICCs were established pointing out that they either had an inadequate number of members or lacked a mandatory external member. Another concern is that the Act does not satisfactorily address accountability, not specifying who is in charge of ensuring that workplaces comply with the Act and who can be held responsible if its provisions are not followed. Chapter 5 Supreme Court Recent Directions and Way Forward The Court directed the Union, States and Union Territories to undertake a time-bound exercises to verify whether ministries, departments, government organizations, authorities, public sector undertakings, institutions, bodies, etc. had constituted internal complaints committee, local committees and internal committees under the Act or not. These bodies have been ordered to publish the details of their respective committees on their websites and accordingly all sectors and organizations have been asked to do so at the earliest possible and make workplace a better place to work for. So this was all in today's video, hope you liked the video, if so then hit the like button, share the video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos and do comment in the comment section on which topic you want next video on. Thank you.